It's no accident that sounds like you're leveling up in a video game. 48% of 18 to 29 year olds have an online dating profile. Make them work for it. 45% of people say they're more frustrated with this form of dating than hopeful. There are so many people you can connect with. Should I swipe right? Swipe wrong. Swipe wrong. Setting the record straight on dating apps. Everyday people telling everyday stories of the swipe right world with your host, Chaos. Well, I know he had a good time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and of course, good night. Uh, we're here whenever you need us to be. Whenever you want us, we are here for you. Welcome to the Swipe Wrong Podcast. I am the host. I'm the guy. I'm the dude. I'm that guy that takes you through this. I am chaos. Welcome to the number one podcast amongst people who think self-gratification should be an Olympic sport. This week, uh, you've already had your new episode this week. Monday, we dropped the new episode. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying that one. Uh, doing something a little different today. Jay and I uh, are branching out in uh, doing a travel podcast and we wanted to drop the one of the episodes in this feed here this is a little bit different uh, a little bit more challenging for me I'm not used to just kind of uh, telling people about things that are going on in the world without adding a little bit of flavor and humor to it uh, so uh, it's it's a straight man it's short uh, usually between about six to ten minutes long we call it Travel 365. We're doing uh, a new episode every single day. There'll be a new drop, a new destination, something something new to check out. We'll take like October, for instance. Uh, we're going through 31 different places that have something unique and awesome about Halloween destinations that you might want to visit. So I'll shut up, you know, Monday, well, you know, like this is just a, a Friday drop. You had your normal Monday episode. You'll have another one coming this Monday. Uh, this show is running currently on uh, on uh, my old chaotic commentary feed. Uh, it is now Travel 365. So make sure to like, follow, subscribe. Do the same with this. And uh, in the meantime, just keep being as awesome as you are. Put your feet up. Sit back. Grab your popcorn. Relax, enjoy, get it buttered if you need to get it buttered. If you're in traffic, don't hit that person next to you. And enjoy our version of Travel 365, Bora Bora. I got a job here. We all, we all got jobs. I've got a job here. My job here is no matter where you're headed right now, whether it's to work, from work, to the grocery store, to the airport, wherever you're headed in your busy life is for me to kind of give you the virtual field trip, the virtual vacation that you're looking for to get away from maybe just some of the craziness that's going on, on the day of the week or or what have you. Spend eight to ten minutes hanging out with me and I'm going to try to take you through some of the coolest vacation spots that you could possibly go to or just places to see around the world. Today though, today might be number one as far as the coolest places on the planet. And I don't mean from temperature. Because today we're going to take you the journey to the mesmerizing paradise of Bora Bora. Oh my goodness. So sit back, relax, and let's kind of embark on this virtual adventure. Like Bora Bora, it's often referred to as the Pearl of the Pacific. It's a small island nestled in the heart of the French Polynesia. It's, it's, it's like if you have seen anything in 4K on YouTube and you just kind of looking at it, like to see it in person just does not even do it justice because it's known for like the, the crystal clear turqu turquoise waters uh, and the, the overwater bungalows is just amazing. Uh, like I did, that's it, ah, once in a lifetime in some cases, and they're just breathtaking landscapes. This tropical oasis, it's a dream destination. It's like so many people go there for a honeymoon. So our journey begins with a scenic flight over the huge Pacific ocean. Just go chill, go over the Pacific ocean, have a good time, you know, load up the iPad because once you get there, you're not going to get on your iPad at all. You know, you're going to approach the island. You'll be greeted by the iconic mountain Otuamu. It's, it's a dormant volcano. Uh, it stands tall at the center of Bora Bora, creating a dramatic back backdrop that will leave you just literally in awe. Uh, 
So once you arrive at Bora Bora Airport, you'll be whisked away in your chosen resort by boat. Ah, how cool is that? Like, you just got there. All right, you just got off a plane. It's truly planes, trains, and automobiles. But the overwater bungalows, they are the hallmark of Bora Bora. And staying in one is experience like no other. Like, if you fly first class, sometimes you're just like... I don't think I want to fly any other way again. If you stay in an overwater bungalow going to do anything else, just might be something to where you're like, eh, I don't know. It's just not quite like that overwater bungalow we stayed at in Bora Bora. Uh, so picture walking up to the sound of the gentle waves lapping beneath your bungalow as you step onto your private deck surrounded by the vibrant marine life below. You're like, damn, this is the place. Bora Bora, it's it's known for so many different things. I mean, like, it's world-class snorkeling and diving places that you can go. Uh, the water is so beautiful. I mean, it is crystal clear. I mean, even if you're not, like, the world-class diver and you just, like, fall in off of your off of your deck into the water you're going to see some of the most ex- <laughs> some of the most amazing fish you'll explore the, the 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 coral reefs teeming with all the tropical fish you know so whether you've you've done it once whether you've done it a hundred times whether you fell into the water you're going to see you know some of the some of the coolest stuff you'll see ever and it'll just absolutely leave you mesmerized and if for some strange reason you want to you know say all right forget the water i want to go check out stuff on the land there's plenty of stuff to offer like there's so much to do you could hop on a bike or you can rent a buggy and explore the island's interior i mean it's lush it's beautiful it's rich i mean it's got so much natural beauty to it that it's it's just something that you're never going to want to leave so as you make your way through the palm line roads you'll discover hidden beaches you know local villages that just have a quaint little feel about them and breathtaking viewpoints that offer just again insane panoramic vistas of the island that surround the lagoon it's one of the most tranquil and amazing places that you will absolutely see it's also a paradise for food enthusiasts so if you are a foodie you can indulge yourself in just the best culinary journey as you, you savor all of the cool French Polynesia food from fresh seafood which <clears throat> it's pretty much just caught right there and they'll bring it into you to some of the some of the most interesting tropical fruits that you'll find. Uh, the local cuisine, it, it will, I mean, your mouth will pretty much water as you're, as you're rolling up to it and you smell it and you see it and your taste buds, it'll leave you craving for more. So don't miss a chance to try the, the, the famous, uh, poison crew. Uh, it's, it's really their traditional dish of raw fish marinated in coconut milk and lime juice. And I am starving now just thinking about that. Don't, don't stop at that McDonald's that you're passing. It won't do you any sort of justice. Just, just don't do it. Just keep driving. It's okay. So the sunset's gonna is gonna set over the horizon of Bora Bora, and it transform it totally transformed the place into just an insane magical wonderland. I mean, picture yourself in a sunset cruise sipping on a tropical cocktail and witnessing the sky ablaze with hues of orange pink purple and the coolest stuff that you'll ever see the beauty of this moment is totally indescribable and i mean if if all of this foodie experience and kicking it on your deck and scuba diving if you're if you're really just too tired and you need a relaxing experience, which okay, we'll have to ha- talk about that. But they have some of the best spa treatments that you'll find. The spa experience where you can absolutely kick it and indulge yourself in Polynesian massages and treatments. You know, you can let the soothing sounds of the nature skilled hands of the therapist and just everything that's going on around you just just totally put you in one of the most relaxing states of bliss that you'll ever have. Now we're coming to an end. There's not much more else that we can do. You you know, we we can talk about the warm and welcoming spirit of the local people. Polynesian culture is one of the most deeply rooted in their lives. And you'll find the locals just eager to please you and eager to try to take you through their culture and show you what their life truly is like. I'm pretty sure that 90% of the people that go have to be forced to come back because I think the worst experience you can have when you're at Bora Bora is checkout time. 
when you have to leave and you have to jump on that boat to head back to the airplane. So hopefully for these few minutes that I got to take you away from your daily life, we got to have a pretty cool virtual experience of where you go now. If you're going to book Bora Bora, if you have like a trunk, let me know because I just might jump into it and hang out with you guys. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed today's experience. I hope you can't wait until tomorrow. Thank you for being along for the ride on the Swipe Wrong podcast, where we take everyday people like you and me telling their everyday stories of their swipe right life. The show is produced by Jay Pelham. He is the host of Pelham Place. If you want to reach out to the show and tell us your story, we'd love to hear it. Give us a call. Google voice us at 317-426-6616. Leave your information and we'll get back to you or just your story. You can also email us at swipewrongpod at gmail.com. We are on Insta, Facebook, TikTok. We're out there. I am Chaos, the host of Chaotic Commentary. You can find me pretty much anywhere that you see me. And next week, the saga continues.